Hello everyone. Thank you once again for deciding to join me today. I'd like to take a quick moment just before this video starts to plug my new Patreon. If you enjoy my content and would like to see more of it in the future of a better quality, as well as if you'd like to have some perks in the Satin Silk community, please feel free to check it out in the description below. Also in the description, there is another link to my Ko-Fi account in case you just want to make a one-off donation. Once again, thank you for joining in. Please take care of yourself, and I can't wait to see you soon. Silky. On behalf of the Raymond's Medical Facility, I'd first like to thank you for agreeing to come in for this, um, test of a, well, drug test. <laughs> I apologize, I'm not very well versed in talking to people, but trust me, I am trying my best. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Dr. Vesuvius, and um, yes, I'll be the one in charge of your procedure today. I'll also be the one in charge of your aftercare going forward with medicine and well, checking up on you, so on and so forth. As you know, you are being paid quite a hefty sum of money for this. So, as you might imagine, um, the procedure, I will tell you, is highly experimental. However, I promise you that there will be no threat to your life. None at all. And, um, well, this clinical test will take place over a, um, I believe, two-month period. So this is the first of a series of routine checkups. So once again, hello. Thank you for joining me. My name is Dr. Vesuvius. Now let's get started, shall we? First of all, I'd like to ask, are you comfortable where you're sitting? Is that chair... Good enough for you. Lo lovely, lovely, really. Um, could I offer you a, a, a cushion or something? Make it a bit more comfy. No? Okay. Right then, so I suppose I should talk you through what's going to happen here. Uh, well, we're going to start off today with a small blood sample taking, of course. And, um,. We'll go through a series of different forms of drugs being um, delivered into your bloodstream by IV injection, so on and so forth. Um, hopefully, there'll be minimal pain throughout. Though, if there is any sudden, um, what's the word? Destabilization of your condition, uh, please rest assured now that you're in completely safe and capable hands. Here we are, let me just prepare the blood test real quick. Oh, we'll be taking blood. I hope that's all right with you. You're not afraid of needles now, are you? <laughs> well, I'm afraid it's tough if you are, we're paying you. <laughs> oh, no, no, that, that was a joke, that wasn't meant, I, I'll stop talking, I'll just do my job. <laughs> Lovely. Right then. Okay, so you're going to feel a small prick on your arm. Uh, just a sharp scratch, really. And three, two, one. Lovely. Barely even felt that at all, did you? <laughs> uh, so we have to take a marginal sum of blood. So make sure to eat those snacks we provided just to your left there. Mm -hmm. Uh... And, yeah, we have a couple minutes just to talk. So, um, to save your energy and to ensure that you're not, well, over-encumbered by this whole situation, I'll tell you a bit about myself. Um, so, yes, my name is Alexander Vesuvius. 
Uh, I was born in 80. In the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I got my medical license oh, a few decades ago. I believe it was 2003. <laughs> Sorry, I get spacey at times. I am. Um, yes, sorry. Just the blood from your arm. It's uh, distracting me. No, oh, no, sorry. Um, so, yes, I was born in the 1980s and recently got. Well, recently. <laughs> you know what I mean. I, I'm just talking at this point. <laughs> um, how are you feeling? You're okay? Lovely. Uh, we'll get back to this conversation in just a moment. Let me just take out this IV drip right here. There we are. That all right? Doesn't hurt too badly? Brilliant. Uh, so we're going to let your blood levels stabilize for a moment. Uh, so, again, a couple minutes of conversation. Um, so, yes, I was born here. And... I haven't really left at all since... Well, the accident. Oh, surely you must have heard. It's all over the news. A number of mass murders occurred about a decade ago. Cartwright is still on court. All the victims drained completely. It was it was barbaric. Completely oh, borderline demonic, I would say. Not that I'm trying to freak you out or anything. I know we're taking blood from you, but we're not we're not gonna take that much. You're all right. Besides, you'd always scream for help. Well, the walls aren't soundproofed, you know. <laughs> anyway, moving on. That blood sample will be sent over to our lab immediately. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, so we can move on. So, the next stage of the trial, or the, well, yes, the trial, will be a administration of oh well there's a bunch of code names with this drug here uh let's just call it um sorry i'm just trying to think of a good name for it, it keeps it memorable you know um let's call it vesuviate <laughs> Well, what can I say? I'm a doctor, doesn't mean I'm not vain. <laughs> no, a, a joke. Now, what this should do, well, I'll put it this way, it's aimed to repair cells, as it were. Oh, I suppose you don't really know, and I shouldn't really be telling you this, but hush, hush. This trial is to see if we can deal with the effects of aging. You know what aging is. All humans do it. Cells, they grow tired. They grow bored, as it were. You live good, long lives, and, well, if nothing goes wrong, of course. And, yeah. But, that's what this drug is for. We here uh, are trying to revolutionize humanity. Revolutionize and revitalize, mainly. Imagine you could live for a hundred years longer. Hell, what if you became immortal, only ever dying from unnatural circumstances? Meaning you wouldn't live forever if you didn't want to, but you'd live as long as you wanted. And all at the cost of a bit of blood. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have said that last part. Ignore that last part. That's not to do with anything. That's just it, science and doctor mumbo jumbo. Anyway, so this small little pill here. Yeah, and you'll be a test dummy, essentially. But you, you knew that. You signed up for that. So we have a drink of water here. By all means, take it away. Drink up. 
Lovely. Not feeling any different? Well, not that you would immediately, but just make sure there's no rampant allergic reactions. You did fill out that allergies form, didn't you? Good, good. My, you're not a talkative one, are you? It's completely fine. I'm a bit of an introvert myself, in all honesty. I don't often talk to people, as I told you before. Um, so, it might come across that I'm rambling a little bit. And I'll be honest, I completely am. And that's all right. It's always good to just talk to someone, at someone, yada yada. I've been around for a long time, you see. I've had a lot of people I knew go away somewhere far away. Above, below, who knows? Deaf. Yes, I've had a lot of people close to me die. So I've become a bit of a recluse recently, in all honesty. I know it's not particularly professional for a doctor to talk this much and share this much about themselves, but we'll have a few months together, so I feel like it's best to break the ice here and now. Wouldn't you say? Hmm. Yes. Sorry, my mind's still drifting to those murders a decade back. Mm, they never did catch that killer. They never did figure out what it, what had killed them. I wonder what could have made that much damage. Who could have? They never did determine whether it was a human or an animal, a beast of some description. Bloodsucker. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I don't mean to be frightening you or off-putting you, of course. But, yes. So, how are you feeling with that drug spinning around your body? A bit lightheaded? Itchy? Well, to not hide anything from you, your cells are currently committing complete and utter suicide. Your cells are dying constantly, but they're being replenished at the same time, it probably won't feel too nice. But that's what you paid for, isn't it? Well, <laughs> apologies, scatterbrain. We paid you, of course, and we paid you a hefty sum. So, please sit down. Sit down. The effects will wear off eventually. Is minuscule. Absolutely nothing bad will happen to you. Sit down. Sit down. I'd rather not ask again. Stop panicking, would you? You're completely and utterly safe. Though you've reacted negatively, that's a fact that anyone can see. Hmm. How would you like to earn a little bit more money? And you come with me, and we put you into an observation facility for the duration of our clinical trials this time. You'll be well imbursed. You'll be in the utmost amounts of comfort, bent, watered, entertained. We just want to see what or how your body reacts. Just think about it. You don't have to worry about anything for three whole months. Doesn't that feel therapeutic? Though there is one slim condition. We'll need all of your electronics and you won't be able to tell anyone where you are and quite frankly if anyone comes looking 
We'll have to misdirect them. All for the purpose of science. For the purpose of bettering the human race. We'll make the human race better. We'll make them into us. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I would ask, what do you say? But at this point, you don't have a choice. <laughs> Sleep tight now. I'll be with you when you wake up. Thank you.